Today we're going to be asking the question, who will win? Pictree script video versus Steve AI script video. Now if you want to find out who's going to win, stick around to the end. Alright guys, my name's Henry, I'm from Product Creation Formula, and today we're going to be checking out the comparison between Pictree and Steve AI. And we're going to just compare the two. We're going to be looking at the script video, not the animation of video. Alright guys, let's go check it out. Okay, now for those of you who've been a part of my site for any length of time, you will recognize this very well. It's called Pictory. Now for those of you who are not, who are only new to out my site, this is in fact called Pictory and it's an artificial intelligence which creates video from script. Now, in other words, you can get some something you've got typed up or you might have an article floating around or you may have, say, a blog post that you'd like to have turned into a video. You can do that right here. And it will create stock image videos for you and you can do it all through here and that's the same with steve ai now steve ai has two options here they have the script to video blog to video but they also have script to animation videos and blog to animation videos but today for for a fair comparison what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking between pictory script to video and steve ai script to video so we're going to be comparing the two and now the article we're going to be looking at today is this particular one here and it's called act your way into a new way of thinking now what you can do is i'll just copy the headline here because i'm going to be needing that in a moment shrink that down for one minute and we're going to be using this particular one right here so i'm just going to click on that we're going to hit on that straight in there and then we're going to grab the rest of that text and place it straight into here so bear with me one moment okay so i'm just going to grab all of this and then we're going to be putting it straight into where it belongs I'm going to copy that and paste that straight into here there we are now you can this is really well done now you can if you find that you've got a paragraph that's too long or anything like that you can always change it now all we need to do here is hit proceed now i've broken those chap those paragraphs up into single lines it just because each line works out to be a frame in the video that you can see so let's go over here to steve ai and we shall do the same thing by clicking on here wait for it to wake up but this here is a pre-generated one we're not going to be doing that we're just going to be creating a script from scratch so first thing i want to do is grab the title so go back up here again i'm just going to copy that i'm going to place that straight into this section here and put the title there what we're going to be doing is now putting the rest of the script right here and we're going to compare the two once they have both uploaded and done their thing. Now, I don't know how long this is going to take because this is, in fact, one of the first times I have ever done this with this particular section. So I'm going to copy that. Now, we'll say that we'll click on that and we'll just put it in here and see how it goes. There we are. Let's scroll down, have a look at it. Okay, this must be too long. So I'm going to click on here. That looks like it might be a good place to have a break. And then you hit it twice and there you have you can only have a very small amount of text on the line if you have too big a text on the line it looks like it will in fact make it too hard for you it'll just say it's too big i can't handle that so it looks like it's done now all you need to do now you can also add music which i'm going to do i'm going to be saying youtube and then we're going to go over here to add voiceover and we're going to go here us english we're going to be making this a male and we might make that Matthew and then we can hit generate voice gen generate voice and then we can hit next we can then choose the style that we want I think I like this particular style or you can choose this one or this one here I think particular style so I'm gonna go for that one now it's now going to create the video for us and while these are waiting to be made oh this one's already finished we can with this particular one we can now add an audio if we wish to we can add some music or we can add a voiceover. We're going to be adding a artificial voiceover. So by doing that, we click on here. Or if you want to, with this particular one, you can, in fact, create your own voiceover. If you want to upload a voiceover, you can do that. If you wish to be able to record it yourself and just read it out on the screen, you can do that as well. Now, we could choose Matthew, which is pretty much the same voice we have on the other one. So I might choose a different one because, as you can see, these guys give us much more options. Let's see what, 
Austin sounds like. Welcome to Pictory. It has been shown that video increases conversion rates by 80%. So I'm going to choose, in this particular case, I'm going to choose Austin because he seems to be a nice clear voice that we can use. We can have a look at Steve AI, see if it's still going. It looks like it's finished as well. Okay, so let's have a quick listen to this and see what it's like. Are you working at a job you can't stand? All right, so that one just played the frame. If I was to hit that, it would play it all the way through from beginning to end. I don't fancy doing that. Let's have a look at the second frame. What's in this one? Let's have a look at that. Would you like to quit, but are afraid you'll attract more of the same? Oh, that's brilliant. Have a look at that. It's even got a YouTube subscribe button there saying, hey, don't forget to subscribe. That's really good. Okay, now over here, this one here has got a story blocks outline here. It's got the story blocks watermark on it. But as you can see, as it, you have a look around here, it does say somewhere here that it will in fact remove the story blocks watermark once it's finished. Now you can keep it like this. You can go through frame by frame and have a look and see whether or not you're happy with this. Now one thing I will say is with Steve AI, we probably need to consider whether or not it has kept the order of how you've written the script. If you have a look at the script, we can actually, I'll put it on another screen so I can see it. And then we can have a quick comparison as to whether or not it's following along with the script. Are you working in a job you can't stand? Would you like to quit? But are afraid you'll attract more of the same? Let's have a look here. Would you like to quit? Uh, afraid to attract more of the same? Often people write me, write to me with questions like, I want out of my job, out of my present job, so badly, okay? Let's have a look and see if that's matched it. Now these guys will keep it, will keep it exactly the same way you put it in. Now I don't have to worry about this one because this one I know is exactly how I want it. Now what you can do, if you find that this is too light to be behind the background, you can in fact change this up by double clicking on that. You can then have the option to click on this section just here and you can make that much, much darker by clicking on this one because as you can see it says background. And you click on that and you can make it so much darker and we can also make it much more opaque. I'm bringing that up here and that way it just makes it stand out a bit better. And even if you have a light background, it's still going to stand out so you can read it better. There we are. And you can also make that go across every single scene by going apply to all. And there you have it. It's now applied the same formatting, the same way it's done across every single video, across every single frame. Now what you can do is as you go through, you can go through and have a look and see whether or not you like what it says here. And if you do, if you don't like what the image is, you can then choose to go over here to video visuals and you can change it up by clicking here and choosing a different video. Now, unfortunately, though, it, I don't think you have that option using Steve AI. However, you can change the formatting, how things work. Have a look at the layout and you can see the different way these are laid out. You might choose that this is a better way of doing it or you might choose that this is a better way of doing it. But I actually don't mind this one. Let's click on that. And there we have it. That's quite nice. It looks quite clear. You can still see it very nicely. Move over and you can have a look at how it's all done. And it looks like it's going to be pretty good. So if you want to see past each frame, you just go there and you can keep scrolling through until you've seen all the frames. But you don't have the option of moving, of changing the image on the frame, which is a shame. So what is my verdict between these two? Well, I'm going to be doing one more thing. And that is, I'm going to be downloading both of these and then having a look at both of them and then I will give you my conclusion after that. I'm going to pause the video until then. But before I do, to download this one, all you have to do is just hit download and then you can download that to whatever device you are wanting to save it at. Okay, so I can make this one over here. I'm going to be making this one my 1080 HP. Once this one finishes what it's doing, 1080 HP, there we are, HD I mean. And then we're going to be downloading that and we will be right back. Okay, well that's downloading. We'll now look at downloading Pictory as well. I know there are probably going to be images here I'll need to change. That does have, yeah, that's one thing that Pictory does have is you sometimes need to change things up because the images don't quite match what it's really trying to say. So what you can do is you can go generate, click on that, and you want to generate the video, so you click on that. As it's creating, it will then create it. Now before I do, one more thing I need to do. I just remembered. I can choose the style I want. I can choose this style or any of these. I particularly like this style, which is great. But then I also need to choose whether it's going to be 1080, which is going to be in the formatting. And I do want to have it as 1080. And we're going to optimize generated videos or for file size. In fact, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep it at 16 by 9. And we're going to be hitting video. 
and we're going to now wait and see by the end which one which one is going to be a better video okay to download all we simply have to do is click on there and it'll download it for us we just have to load put the location we just have to put it in the location to go into and it will only take a few moments now i will say that pictory didn't take anywhere near as long as steve ai did but it doesn't really matter because it still worked okay. So I'm going to be calling this one Pictory and we're going to hit save. And then I'm just going to go over here to Steve AI. We'll wait for this to download a little bit. Still thinking. There we are. Now we'll go to Steve AI and we will now download this. And we'll paste that in the same place and we'll call it Steve AI. So as we know which one's which. And then we'll have a quick look at what each of them are like. I will pause this until it's finished. Yeah, I'll just call this one Steve AI and that will make it a lot easier. So we'll just put that in there and we will wait for a moment and then once it's finished we'll have a quick look at both of them and we'll do a little comparison. Okay, now the first one I'm going to bring up is Steve AI because I'm actually curious to see what that one's like. So I'm going to just open that up and we'll have a quick look. I'll drag that over here so we can have a better look at it. Are you at a job you can't stand? Would you like to quit? but are afraid you'll attract more of the same? Often people write to me with questions like, I want out of my present job so badly. How can I speed things up so I can quit? The best way to shorten the time spent in a negative situation is to focus on all the positives you can. If you can find something to appreciate, even if it's appreciating a regular paycheck which does cover some of your essentials, you will begin to feel better. As you feel better, you'll find it easier to notice another thing you appreciate about your job. Okay, so that's about all I'm going to do right now. I'm going to shrink that down. That's looking pretty good. I'm, I'm really quite happy with that. I'm not really sure about all the images about YouTube in there, but hey, you know, it is what it is. And you can't change it, unfortunately. It makes it for you, and then you just have to live with what they give you. But it's still really good, though. Let me just shrink that down just a little bit. And we'll try and have a look at the Pictory one now. Now, I have not at all um, edited the Pictory one. Are you working one. at a job you can't stand? Would you like to quit, but are afraid you'll attract more of the same? Often people write to me with questions like, I want out of my present job so badly. How can I speed things up so I can quit? The best way to shorten the time spent in a negative situation is to focus on all the positives you can. If you can find something to appreciate, even if it's appreciating a regular paycheck which does cover some of your essentials, you will begin to feel better. As you feel better, you'll find it easier to notice another thing you appreciate about your job. So, as you can see, they are both really, really good. So I'm actually very impressed with that. So which one would I say was better? I would say Pictory is better because it allows you to be able to change the images and also it allows you to be able to change the voice. In other words, it allows you to be able to upload a voice of your own so it will sync it to the to the actual video. But Pictory is quite good. Now let's have a quick look at the pricing of Pictory and Steve AI. Now, if you have a look at Pictory, you'll see that it's best for creators starting out with videos, $19 per month, and it's unlimited text to video projects for up to 10 minutes. 10 hour video transcriptions, one hour of video length, and then you can scroll down and have a quick look over here. Now, you have a look over this one. This is premium, and you get unlimited text to speed, text to video, sorry projects up to 20 minutes long 50 hours of transcript as well as three hour video lengths per upload and as you can go through you can have a little quick look at what they've got here 15,000 music tracks 42 speech to ai voices and so forth and of course the prize one which they don't give you a price for but i don't know what that's priced at i have never tried to even look at it but now have a look at steve ai now for the basic one that's nine dollars a month or 108 dollars a year and then you got your starter one, which is $30 a month, but it only allows 15 video downloads per month. 180 HP video resolution, 10 voiceover accents in English. And it says, and much more. Have a quick look. And then as you go through, you can have a look over here, the premium, 15 premium downloads per month. Now this is just premium downloads. That's not the amount of videos you can create. You can create more than that. 
but they're talking premium ones, the ones with 1080 HD. So you can probably do the 720, 720 HD, but you can't do the 1080. And this one here, Pro, it allows you to have 40 downloads per month, and you can do 2K resolution if you wish to, 1080 if you're doing the starter. And as you go through, look at what they have to offer. But with this one here, it also gives you the privilege of having animated videos if you wish if you don't want to have just a picture style video which is i think pretty awesome as well but you want to have say for example an animated video that you want to be able to create a sales video or something along those lines or even a, a youtube video you can use steve ai for that particular one okay now if you like this video please consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at it, why not consider sharing and also leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of these two AIs. All right, now over here is a video I believe you might like. Down here is a video YouTube thinks you might like. And right here is an image of my head. And if you click on that, you'll be able to subscribe. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. And bye for now.